Hello, I'm going to show you Email Verifier Pro SaaS application. So this is our SaaS version, version 4.1.0. And here you can see there's several changes we have made. On the setting step, we have introduced uh, a control features for email campaign system. So either you can have it active or no, because most of users uh, suggested us that they don't use the email campaign system and only require the validation process. Also, we have uh, given the access to multi scan process. So if you have this option active, then if you add a list validation, you can scan multiple list validations at the same time. This is the blacklist monitor. So this is still on the beta process and there's very few lists on the top the TNS lab. And what this will do, if you have this active, then it will uh, continuously check your IP, system IP on the blacklist server to and will show a large box if your system IP is blacklisted. And you have to do the next procedure to release it from those blacklist server. This is the script update monitors. If you have this active, then it will notify you whenever there's an automatic update available. This is the registration process page. So if you have this enabled, then public registration will be active. All most of the settings around 90% has been converted into Ajax. So there's no page to reload or refresh during each changes. This is the debug system. So if you enable the system log debug, then you will see a new page here for system log, or it will show you uh, any kind of system error happen. Also, the SMTP log will show you the email process which you use. If there's any kind of problem with the email sending, Right now, there's no log data. We haven't received any kind of error here. This is the front end template. So now we have a front end template design. So if you disable it, then there would be no front end on a home page, and you can integrate your own home page on the system. Otherwise, if you want to use our existing uh, builder, theme builder, then you can enable it, and you'll see a theme editor here. And you can use this to design your own home page using this drag and drop builder. And if you deactivate it, then home page will not be visible to public. And you can add your own index page. Then we have separate email scanner system now. And we have already invoked our email scanner. And now it properly works with Comcast. And this is for email campaign. We plan to use the bulk email frame. This is your wallet setting. So if you uh, plan to charge your user, then simply enable the wallet system and assign your payment module and click save. And it will provide you more access to the payment options and configurations which you can adjust them here and next we have the filters so these are email filter settings which we had previously and now it is uh, converted to domain filter settings option uh, also it uh, works with email address so if you directly add email address then it will work but we recommend them to add the domain in a set and here we have an Amex filter setting. So this is actually you can add manual kind of Amex server if you plan to keep or a bad Amex server which actually does not work. Um, also, whenever uh, it is current that can, then it will automatically add all those Amex servers on this list by default. So if 
there's any kind of SMTP connection server there, uh, the server it does not exist or there's any kind of corruption, then it will uh, first at first attempt it will try to scan it and then filter it. And from and if this if that server at the second time comes again on the list of the scanning, then it will try to skip this instead of trying to scan it. Uh, in this way, uh, you I think in good hands. Uh, from the added server to the for the test. So, as you can see, you have the step payment here to it. So, add more payment for you, like shadow. I don't have any credit. Let's add a demo for us. So this is saying features. This is a legend like that said that there's no accessibility service. So
Thank you. 